Hello everybody! Today, I'm going to be taking a look at each of the 12 primary resources in Clash of Streamers and rank them all from least valuable to most valuable. By the end of this video, you should have a clear idea exactly how valuable each resource is. Make no mistake, there are some resources which are extremely abundant throughout your play and have little to no value by themselves, and there are others which are so valuable that you'll likely never get any in your lifetime of gameplay. Since gems are the primary currency in Clash of Streamers, we can relate the cost of each resource back to gems and figure out a dollar value from there. We learned in our best purchases video that you get approximately 167,000 gems per dollar, so we will use that again as our baseline. Keep in mind, all the dollar values we use in this video will be in terms of United States dollar. Now that we've set our foundation, we can get into our most valuable resources. These are the top 12 most valuable resources in Clash of Streamers. In number 12, we have the Casino Chip. When entering the Blackjack, Poker, Roulette, or Slot Bingo buildings, we can spend gems to access certain stakes of these minigames. We can see that in order to access a 1000 Casino Chip stake, we need to spend 1.3 million gems. From there, we can basically calculate that the value of our Casino Chip is worth 1300 gems, which is less than 1 cent. Since casino chips are so cheap, you'll easily find yourself racking up a ton of these quickly. Although they are extremely cheap, you can still win some absolutely insane rewards from the really high stake games, if you're lucky of course. In number 11, we have the VIP ticket. We can spend our VIP tickets inside the bad luck jackpot, and once we are all out of VIP tickets, we'll notice that the cost to spin is 6,500 gems apiece. So, we have a VIP ticket worth 6,500 gems, which is valued at less than 4 cents. VIP tickets are also extremely common while playing Clash of Streamers, since you get them as loot in many different areas of the game, as well as through combined bad luck as your bad luck points rack up. In number 10, we have tryhard scrolls. Figuring out the price of a tryhard scroll is a bit more difficult than most resources, since we can't actually do any tryhard summons by spending gems. However, in the marketplace, we can find various items for sale, and sometimes tryhard scrolls are part of those sales. By default, marketplace items are offered at around 5% better rates than their base value. Since we have 10 tryhard scrolls for sale at 142,000 gems, we can do a bit of math to figure out that our tryhard scrolls are worth roughly 15,000 gems, valued at around 9 cents each. Tryhard scrolls are the most common resource used to summon heroes and are extremely useful when working towards the upgrade event. Even though tryhard scrolls are fairly cheap, you'll find that they are far more rare than some of the more valuable resources on this list, since summoning scrolls tend to be some of the most important resources in the game for your progression. In number 9, we have the Community Chip. In the Community Building, we can spend our Community Chips and also spin for gems when we're all out. A Community Chip is worth 20,000 gems, which is valued at around 12 cents a piece. Although Community Chips are not worth a lot by themselves, they have the potential to give some of the best rewards in the game if you're lucky enough to get the improved chips as rewards. In number 8, we have the Athene Coin. In Athene's church, we can see that the slot machine costs 35,000 gems if we don't have any Athene coins. So, that makes the Athene coin worth 35,000 gems valued at around 21 cents. Although Athene coins are worth a decent amount, you will get an absolute ton of them as rewards in the game. In fact, even though Athene coins are worth more than community chips, as well as tryhard scrolls, you'll likely end up having way more Athene coins than these other resources. The reason for this is pretty simple. The more time you spend in Athene's church, the more likely you are to donate to him for some sick rewards. I know you may be avoiding spending some money in Clash of Streamers, but the game will just keep pulling you back into the money making machine. Don't fight it, just give him your cash already. <laughs> in number 7, we have the Get Lucky chip. We can spin the wheel in the Get Lucky building for 60,000 gems making the Get Lucky chip worth around 36 cents each. At this stage, this is where the resources start to become fairly rare. Unless you get some nice luck with some chest multipliers, you won't actually get a whole lot of Get Lucky chips as loot drops while playing Clash of Streamers, at least not at the start. Additionally, as you progress and get further in areas of the game like the Campaign Tower, Get Lucky chips will become much more common. You can also just buy them when you see them inside the Merchant and Marketplace buildings. If you have an upgraded loot table in the Get Lucky building, your loot output can be pretty insane. Check out our Get Lucky video for more on that. 
In number six, we have the Kappa scroll. This is where the resources start to get pretty valuable. When we attempt to spend gems to do a Kappa summon, we'll notice it costs 325,000 gems, meaning one Kappa scroll is worth almost $2. Getting Kappa scrolls is quite rare, usually only happening on huge chest multipliers as well as later stages in the campaign tower. You can also buy them in the marketplace and merchant at discounted rates, which is always a good idea. Throughout your play, you'll notice that your Kappa scrolls are one of the most valuable resources you can have as it allows you to complete the summon event as well as give you a ton of higher level heroes to upgrade and improve your team. In number 5 we have the Mega Chip. Sometimes you will see Mega Chips offered in the merchant building at some pretty hugely discounted rates. In this case we have to spend 5400 casino chips to get 10 Mega Chips. If we multiply the casino chips by the gem cost per chip and divide that by the discount, we can see the mega chip is actually worth roughly 780,000 gems, putting it at a value of around $4.70. Mega chips are basically the upgraded version of the community chip, as you have a 1 in 125 chance to spin a community chip and receive a mega chip back. The mega chip is extremely significant as it allows you to be just that much closer to the even crazier chips. In number 4, we have the Pogchamp Scroll. A Pogchamp Scroll is the best summon scroll in the game and they are extremely rare. Occasionally you will see them for sale in the merchant building. If we calculate the value, similar to how we calculated the value of a Mega Chip, we can see that the Pogchamp Scroll is worth roughly 3.25 million gems, valuing it at almost $20 each. It shouldn't be any surprise though, as a Pogchamp Summon has really good odds at rolling you a max star, max level hero. In number 3, we have the Madness Chip. Figuring out the value of these last few resources is a bit more ambiguous than the rest. We can see a Madness Chip priced at around $65 worth of Purpose or Doobie on the Gaming for Good Shop. But since we all know the Gaming for Good Shop provides loot at a better value, this isn't an accurate estimate of what a Madness Chip would actually be worth. To see how much a Madness Chip is worth, we need to calculate out the expected value of a Madness Chip spin. To do that, we can take a look at the odds of a Madness Chip spin and the potential gem rewards you might get from each specific outcome. Multiplying the odds of a specific outcome by the gem value of that outcome and adding it all together will give us a rough estimate of how much a Madness Chip is actually worth. If we do this, while excluding the value of an Insanity Chip, we will see that a Madness Chip spin's expected value is around 17.3 million gems, making it worth just over $100. Although these are extremely rare and extremely valuable, if you play the game for long enough, it's definitely possible to get one of these. The odds of getting a Madness Chip starting from a Community Chip is 1 in 15,625. Statistically speaking, if you would spin 20 Community Chips per day, you should be able to get one of these in just over 2 years of gameplay. Easy. In number 2, we have the Insanity Chip. Although an Insanity Chip is priced at around $2,700 on the Gaming for Good Shop, we need to calculate the expected value of an Insanity Chip to get a better idea for what it is actually worth. If we calculate the expected value similar to how we calculated the expected value of a Madness Chip, we will see that the expected value of an Insanity Chip is just shy of 650 million gems, making it worth almost $4,000. At this point, these numbers get pretty ridiculous, and as a result, most people will never get an Insanity Chip in their lifetime of gameplay. The odds of going from a Community Chip all the way to an Insanity Chip in one run is almost 1 in 2 million. Only the luckiest among us will be able to get this far. In number 1, with no surprise, we have the Ascendance Chip. Now, the Ascendance Chip is so shrouded in mystery, we actually have absolutely no way of knowing just how valuable it is right now. When we look at the odds of these different spins, like the Mega Chip Spin, the Madness Chip Spin, the Insanity Chip Spin, we have some information on what we might be able to get. However, we have absolutely no information about an Ascendance Chip Spin. What we do know is that it costs roughly $100,000 to buy on the Gaming for Good Shop, but since the Gaming for Good Shop is known for providing purchases at better value, it's not too crazy to say that the true value of an Ascendance Chip could be maybe around $150,000, maybe even $200,000. If that were true, an Ascendance Chip would net you around 25 to 50 billion gems per spin. Who knows though? All I know is that I definitely won't be lucky enough to get one of these. The odds of going from a community chip to an ascendance chip is about 1 in 244 million. Somebody will get lucky enough to get one of these, but it probably won't be me or you. All I have to say is keep a lookout for the best replays. When somebody gets one of these, it will be there. Guaranteed.
And that is all for this video. Hope you found it interesting. I had a lot of fun figuring out the value of each of these resources, so I hope you found it just as interesting to watch. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and definitely subscribe for more. We have a ton more videos on the way. Fortunately for us, there is so much detail and depth to Clash of Streamers, we probably have enough stuff to talk about literally until the next expansion is out. And that's all I've got for today. Until the next time.